Thank you, um, Chairman Terry. Good things come in small packages, I guess. They, as Biggie used to say, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog that counts. One of the things that we acquire in playing football over the years are the good friendships that we make, the lasting friendships, real friendships that we make. And Terry's already introduced some of my teammates who are here and who've traveled some distance to be here with us today. But I think I'd be remiss if I didn't repeat. And stand in mass, if you will, please. Sonny Grindelius, who not only was an All-American, hold your applause, Sonny, not only an All-American, but he was an All-Scholarship individual. Lynn Chadnoy, All-American, went on to play with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, I guess, for eight years, was this outstanding rookie of the year. Dorn Dibble used to catch passes for Bobby Lane. They, he has a lot, a lot of stories to tell. And uh, Marty Kelly, uh, who backed up Lynn Chadnoy, and uh, Roy Crane, uh, who ended up being uh, a general in the Air Force. Thank you, fellas, for sharing this with us. Uh, I also uh, do a little cheerleading on the side. Uh, I met Barbara Fry for the first time last night uh, at the front desk, and she says, my Lord, George, you are a little, aren't you? <laughs> With friends like that, you know, who needs enemies, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Duffy, Duffy used to say, yeah, George Gary, he's small, but he's slow. <laughs> Picture, if you will, in your mind, going back to the turn of the century. Picture, if you will, a little Italian, 16 years old, coming from a small town in Italy, Patrica, on a hilltop, who immigrated to the United States to get a better life. He was the oldest of 13 children, had a third grade education, came through Ellis Island. His name was Guerreri at that time, and the guy with the badge comes up and he says, Tony, that name is too long for this country. We're going to change it to G-U-E-R-R-E. And my father says, okay, boss, are we in? That's, that's fine. Picture, if you will, a little Czech immigrant who was 14 years old, who came to this country to seek a better life for herself. Needless to say, she had a sixth grade education. She was one of the more educated in our family. And they met in New York City and went married. And you talk about being honored today. I am sure that uh, wherever they might be, that they feel so honored to have their only son to be honored as he is today uh, by a great university. Once again, Terry, thank you for this honor. Uh, I, go back, I go back to when tickets were $3, uh, when we wore uh, leather helmets, uh, when the field was Macklin Field. Our colors at that time were black and gold, would you believe? When, when Biggie came here in 47, he said, no, we're going to change that to green and white. Eventually, we went to plastic helmets. I've seen many coaches uh, come and go uh, over the years. And uh, I can tell you that our coach this year, Mark D'Antonio, is certainly one of the finest. We're going to see a lot more children, I should say kids, graduate from Michigan State University than we have in the past. A true family man, and I sincerely hope he does well, because he deserves every bit of our help. Once again, it's a privilege to uh, be honored by this great university. Uh, I do thank the selection committee for uh, selecting this little WAP, would you believe, and for all the honors that he's been given. Thank you so much. <laughs>